everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do a bookshelf tour because I have not done one in literally, I think, years and we've moved a bunch of times. So finally we're in a house where these bookshelves are pretty much staying the same for at least another year until we, fingers crossed, buy our own house. So I've got my shelves set up pretty much the way that I want them sort of. You'll see what I mean. But I'm going to go through all of the books that I have. I'll let you know whether or not I read them. I'm not going to tell you what any of them are about because these videos have a tendency to be super, super long. So without further ado, I'm going to hop into my books and enjoy. Also, before I get started, here's just a general overview. We have four bookshelves. There they are. And the two in the middle are all my books. The one on the far end over here are all Jeff's books. And then this one over here is a mix of both. So I'm going to go through just my books. Starting with this top shelf here in bookshelf one, I've got two pop figures which I'll move out of the way, but it's Jon Snow and Ghost. All right, so on this shelf I have The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass. Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass, first book in the Throne of Glass series, and I have read this one, loved it. Crown of Midnight, Sarah J. Mass, book two, Air of Fire, book three, Queen of Shadows, book four, and that looks like nothing, but it is Empire of Storms, book five in the Throne of Glass series. It is the only one that I haven't read that I own so far. And this one came to me from Book Outlet and showed up without a jacket, naked. Next, I have And I Darken by Kristen White. Then I have Now I Rise, also by Kirsten White. Then I have Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Read it, loved it, love her. Next, I have Fairest by Marissa Meyer. This is a novella for the Lunar Chronicles. Read it, loved it. Also, all from the Lunar Chronicles series, I have Cinder, Scarlet, Cress, Winter. Finally, Stars Above, which is another novella collection. Read them all, loved them all. Then I have Three Dark Crowns by Kendar Blake, loved it. Also from the same series, One Dark Throne, Kendar Blake, read it, loved it. Finally on the shelf, I have Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. And from the same series, I have Wind Witch. I just have a few decorations on bookshelf number two, or shelf number two, I should say. I have this chocolate frog box from the Harry Potter world in Universal Studios Orlando. Then I also have a few pops. I've got my Hunger Game pops on this shelf. So I've got PETA, Katniss, 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 Katniss. I also have Effie and President Snow, but they are just not out right now. All right, starting off on this shelf, I have The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Read it, liked it. The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey, book two of the Fifth Wave trilogy. Fire and Flood by Victoria Scott. Read it, loved it. And then Salt and Stone, book two of Fire and Flood uh, by Victoria Scott. Read it and loved it. Daughter of Smoke of Bones by Lainey Taylor. Days of Blood and Starlight. Dreams of Gods and Monsters. Another unread trilogy by me. Shocking. Huh? Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo. Siege and Storm. Rune and Rising. Then I have A Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow. I did read this book and I did enjoy it. Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. Hexed by Michelle Cries. Anti-Goddess by Kendar Blake. Next up, we have the Hunger Games trilogy. I have The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, Catching Fire, and finally, Mockingjay. Obviously, I've read those and loved them. Then I have the Divergent trilogy by Veronica Roth, starting with Divergent, Insurgent, which is my special edition fancy copy with a ribbon. Finally, Allegiant. Read them, loved them. Finally on this shelf, I have The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, and I have not read this one yet. All right, next shelf. So I have a few more pops and some decorations on this shelf. I've got Snape. There he is. Boop. Snape and Voldemort. Professor McGonagall. Harry and Fressel Dumbledore. I also have my Harry Potter wand right here. And then this is a box with a wand in it from Ollivanders that my brother got in Universal. First book on this shelf is These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I have read this one and I was very meh about it. In the After by Demetria Lunetta. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. Um, obviously both from the same series and I have read both of them and enjoyed them. Next up, all from the same trilogy, I have Angel Fall by Susan E. World After. 
and End of Days. These are all from the Penryn and the End of Days trilogy. And I read these and I absolutely friggin' love them. Next up, we have the Maze Runner series by James Dashner. I have read all of these and I do love this series as well. So first up, we have the Maze Runner, the Scorch Trials, the Death Cure, finally the Kill Order, which is technically the prequel. The Shadow Queen by C.J. Redwine, another series. The Program by Suzanne Young. I've read the first two books and love them, so this is book one. Book two, The Treatment. Then we have The Remedy, and I have not read this one yet. Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. Another trilogy, we have Legend by Marie Lu, followed by Prodigy and Champion. I've read all of these and I enjoyed the series. We have Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi, Unravel Me, and book three, Ignite Me. I have read all of these, loved all of them, and am really looking forward to reading book four, which I think is called Restore Me. The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. Finally, All Our Yesterdays by Kristen Terrell, and have not read this one. All right, next shelf. I only have one pop on this shelf, and it's Brennan Huff from Step Brothers. Will Ferrell, love of my life. Also have a Mockingjay notebook. Starting off with a duology, I have The Book of Ivy by Amy Engel and The Revolution of Ivy. I've read both of these and I really enjoyed this duology. Warcross by Marie Lu, read it, and I liked it. The Darkest Minds Trilogy by Ale Alexandra, huh? by Alexandra Bracken, starting with The Darkest Minds, Never Fade, In the Afterlight. I've read books one and two and they were okay. Not my favorite, but definitely okay. Never read this one. The Selection series by Kira Cass, book one, The Selection, book two, The Elite, book three, The One, read them all, love them all, Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson, and the sequel, The Heart of Betrayal by Mary E. Pearson, The Raven Boys, book one of The Raven Cycle by Maggie Seawater, read it, loved it. I also do have book two, Dream Thieves, which I am currently reading downstairs, so it's not on the shelf right now, but also have book three, Blue Lily, Lily Blue. All from the same trilogy, Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi, Through the Evernight, Into the Still Blue, Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendar Blake, read it, loved it, and book two, Girl of Nightmares, read it, loved it. All from the Fallen Kingdoms series by Morgan Rhodes, I have Fallen Kingdoms, Rebel Spring, Gathering Darkness. I've only read the first two books in this series. Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion, read it, loved it. Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini. Next, all from the same series. Haven't read any of them, and to be honest, don't even know which order they go into, but I have Of Triton by Anna Banks, Of Neptune, and Of Poseidon. Finally on this shelf, I have Splintered by A.G. Howard. I've read this, and I thought it was just okay. The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. Have not read this or any books in this series, but this is book one of the Heroes of Olympus series. The Son of Neptune, book two. The Mark of Athena, book three. And The Blood of Olympus, book five. I do not own book four. I don't know why. <laughs> also by Rick Riordan, we have the Percy Jackson series, book one, The Lightning Thief. Book two, Sea of Monsters. Book three, The Titan's Curse. Book four, The Battle of the Labyrinth. Book five, The Last Olympian. I have read all of these books in the series and I loved them all. The Offering by Kimberly Dirting, uh, a pledge novel. So this is part of a trilogy. So this is book one, book two, The Essence. This could also be book three, I don't really know. Book two or three, The Pledge. Maybe this is even book one. What do I know? Poison Princess by Cressley Cole, book two, Endless Night. Something Strange and Deadly by Susan Denner, book two, A Darkness Strange and Lovely. I have The Winner's Curse by Maria Rutowski. I read this and I thought it was just okay. Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge, A Need So Beautiful by Suzanne Young, another trilogy, Ruby Red by Kirsten Gear, Sapphire Blue, Emerald Green, Lux Series by Jennifer L. Armentrout, Book One, Obsidian, Book Two, Onyx, Book Three, Opal, Book Four, Origin, Book Five, Lux. I've read only the first three of this series. The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. If you guys have been watching for a while, you know that this has been on my TBR literally a million times and yet have never read it. Still feel really determined to read it though, so I'll probably keep it. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Finally, I have The Novice by Taryn Mataru. Summoner book one, have not read this either. This is the last shelf on bookshelf one. Frostfire by Amanda Hawking, the first book in the Canon Chronicles. And book two, Ice Kiss. 
A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I've definitely read this and loved it. I have a special edition of Twilight by Marissa Meyer. I've read the entire Twilight series, obviously, because do you even booktube if you haven't read it? Then I have the original copy, book two, New Moon, book three, Eclipse, finally book four, Breaking Dawn. For the Beautiful Creatures series by Kami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, I have book one, Beautiful Creatures, book two, Beautiful Darkness, book three, Beautiful Chaos, finally, book four, Beautiful Redemption, read them all, loved to hate it too, so fitty fitty. Then another trilogy, I have Partials by Dan Wells, Fragments, and Ruins. Then I have Dread Nation by Justina Ireland, and The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. Sweet Evil by Wendy Higgins. This is book one in a series. I also have book two, Sweet Peril, Grave Mercy by Robin Lefevers. Another series which I do not know the order of, but I think I have all of them. I haven't read any of them. Mystic by Alison Noel. This is part of the Soul Seekers series. Echo, Faded, and Horizon. Dream a Little Dream by Kirsten Gear. I've read a little bit of this one, just couldn't get into it, so I, I just don't think I was in the mood, but I will definitely pick it up later. And from the same trilogy, which is the Silver Trilogy, this is Dream On. Since I'm already down here at this level, I'm gonna start from the bottom of the next bookshelf. Sorry for the shadows. <laughs> But before I get into it, just so everybody knows, the first shelf that I just went through is all of my fantasy, sci-fi um, type of books that I have, all YA. The second shelf I'm going through, I'll start from the bottom and go up, but the bottom is all of my adult books. Then I have a few shelves of all of my review books that I've been sent that I haven't read yet. And then finally is my YA contemporary, so that's how it's all broken down. Back to your programming. I have Barefoot by Ellen Hildebrand, A Summer Affair by Ellen Hildebrand. Next up I've got all of my Jodi Picoult books and just spoiler alert I haven't read any of them so I'm just gonna go through them. I have Second Glance, Change of Heart, Handle with Care, 19 Minutes which I've heard amazing things about and need to read, My Sister's Keeper, The Tenth Circle, and finally Between the Lines um, which is also written by Jodi Picot and I believe her daughter, Samantha Van Leer. The Island by Ellen Hildebrand, which I have read and just liked. I only ever just like her books. Fly Away by Kristen Hanna. The Rosie Project by Graham Simpson. And I read this one and I did enjoy it. The Nest, and this is by Cynthia Dapri Sweeney. The Paperboy by Pete Dexter. The 100 Year Old Man Who Climbed Out the Window and Disappeared by Jonas John... Jonathan? The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, and this is by Mark Haddon. A Dog's Purpose by W. Bruce Cameron. Read it. Friggin' loved it. The Happiness Project by Gretchen Rubin. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. Read it. Loved it. Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. Read it. Loved it. Where'd You Go, Bernadette by Maria Semple. More Kristen Hanna books. Haven't read any of them, but I have Firefly Lane, Night Road, and Homefront. Then I have Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close by Jonathan Saffron Forgoyle by Andrew Davison. Bossy Pants by Tina Fey. Read it. Loved it. Seriously, I'm kidding. By Ellen DeGeneres. Read it. Loved it. On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves. Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me and Other Concerns by Mindy Kaling. Read it and loved it. Half Brother by Kenneth Opal. The Next Time You See Me by Holly Goddard-Jones. Stranger in the House by Sherry Lapina. I didn't like this one. Blech. The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. A Constellation of Vital Phenomena by Anthony Mara. Finally for this shelf, I have Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, and I read it and I liked it. The Help by Catherine Stockett. Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. Friggin' love this book. The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, aka JK Rowling, and The Casual Vacancy by JK Rowling. Moving into all of my review books that are still unread, hashtag shame on me. Anyways, first one is Spark Joy, and this is by Mary Kondo. The Smoke Thieves by Sally Green. Tess of the Road by Rachel Hartman. Blackbird of the Gallows by Meg Castle. Reign of the Fallen by Sarah Glenn Marsh. Weave a Circle Round by Carrie Marin. The Rift Uprising by Amy S. Foster. And the sequel, The Rift Frequency by Amy S. Foster. 
A Breath After Drowning by Alice Blanchard, Lies You Never Told Me by Jennifer Donaldson, We Are All That's Left by Carrie Arcos, The Hatching by Ezekiel Boone, The Chalk Man by C.J. Tudor, I See You by Claire McIntosh, and I Let You Go also by Claire McIntosh, Last Chance by Greg Hurwitz, Girl Last Seen by Heather, Anna Stew, and Greenwood Brown, The Man in the Crooked Hat by Harry Dolan, When I Cast Your Shadow by Sarah Porter. I received all three of these as a trilogy and I am not sure the order, but I have The Vault of Dreams by Kara M. O'Brien, The Rule of Mirrors, and The Keeper of Ages. The lighting is just the worst. On this shelf I have a few more pops. I have Dory and Nemo, and then I have just a jar of bookmarks. So all of these books on the shelf are review copies that I have not read as well, um, with the exception of My Oxford Year by Julia Wellen, which I am almost done, so that's nearly a success. Also, um, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. This wasn't sent to me for review, but it was lent to me by a friend. The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang. The Truth Beneath the Lies by Anda Searcy. The Lovely Reckless by Kami Garcia. House of Shadows by Nicola Cornick. Bones and All by Camille DeAngelis. Bellevue Square by Michael Redhill. Ruthless by Carolyn Lee Adams. Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. Nine Women, One Dress, Jane L. Rosen. Freshman by Tom Ellen and Lucy Iveson. The Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson, which is definitely on my next book to be read. The Foreseeable Future by Emily Adrian, Fashion Committee by Susan Juby, Three Amazing Things About You by Jill Marcel or Marcel, Summer Sisters by Judy Bloom, Given to the Sea by Mindy McGinnis, Haven by Mary Lindsay, Atlantis Risen by Gloria Craw, The Forbidden Wish by Jessica Calry, A Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGinnis, Julia Vanishes by Katherine Egan. The Last Star Burning by Caitlin Sangster. Apocalypse of Alina Mendoza by Sean David Hutchison. Missing by Kelly Armstrong. Gemini by Sonia Mukherjee. Pacifica by Kristen Simmons. Stags by M.A. Bennett. Finally for the shelf, Need to Know by Karen Cleveland. Just a few little pops on this shelf. I've got Mickey and Minnie and Ariel. Hope in the Holler by Lisa Lewis Tired. Al Capone Throws Me a Curve, A Tale from Alcatraz by Jennifer Choldenko. The Boy, The Bird, and the Coffin Maker by Matilda Woods. First Comes Love by Emily Giffen. Swing Time by Zadie Smith. The Only Cafe by Lyndon McIntyre. All Beauty Is Now by Sarah Faber. The Impossible Fortress by Jason Rakulak. Where Am I Now by Mara Wilson. Can I See You Again by Allison Morgan. The Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory. This Moment is Your Life and So Is This One by Miriam Gates. The Space Between Stars by Anne Corlett. The End or Something Like It by Anne D. Ellis. Uncommon Type, Some Stories by Tom Hanks. The Sunshine Sisters by Jane Green. Goodbye Days by Jeff Zentner. The Night That Changed Everything by Laura Tate and Jimmy Rice. Wish You Were Here by Renee Carlino. The Lauras by Sarah Taylor. Fitness Junkie by Lucy Sykes and Joe Piazza. I Have Lost My Way by Gail Foreman. Ten Tiny Breaths by K.A. Tucker. I'm Not Your Bannock Pixie Dream Girl by Gretchen McNeil. Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. The Music Shop by Rachel Joyce. Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. The Beauty That Remains by Ashley Woodfolk. Optimist Die First by Susan Nielsen. Buffering by Hannah Hart. Finally, for unread review books, I have in the Unlikely Event by Judy Bloom. Moving into my contemporary books, I have Our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland, Belzar by Meg Wolitzer, Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. I have a few pops on this one too. I've got Pocahontas and Miko and Mrs. Potts and Chip. The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chabotsky. Read it, loved it. First Batch, all from Sarah Dessen. Lock and Key, read it, loved it. Keeping the Moon, have not read it. The Truth About Forever, read it and loved this one. Dreamland, haven't read it. Just Listen, read it, loved it. Someone Like You, have not read it. I have two copies of Along for the Ride, I don't know why, but read it, loved it. 
this lullaby, read it, and loved it. Finally, from Sarah Dessen, I have That Summer, and I have not read this one. Made You Up by Francesca Zappia, read it, and loved it. Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon, read it, loved it. Paper or Plastic by Vivi Barnes, I read it, and I liked it. Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armentrout, read it, loved it. Dumplin', Go Big or Go Home by Julie Murphy. The Duff, also known as the Designated Ugly Fat Friend by Cody Keplinger, read it, loved it. Summer of Supernovas by Darcy Woods. Wonder by RJ Palacio, read it, loved it. Chaotic Good by Whitney Gardner, read it and loved it. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, read it, loved it. This Song Will Save Your Life by Leela Sales. My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick, read it and liked it. What We Saw by Aaron Hartzler, read it and liked it. Going Vintage by Lindsay Leavitt, read it and loved it. Say What You Will by Kami McGovern, read it, loved it. A World Without You by Beth Revis. The Museum of Intangible Things by Wendy Wonder. Finally for this shelf, I have The Infinite Moment of Us by Lauren Miracle. Last shelf on this bookshelf, and this is such an awkward angle, but it's fine. I've got Buddy the Elf, which favorite color up here, and Mary Poppins, practically perfect in every way. <laughs> Landline by Rainbow Rowell, read it, liked it. Fan Girl by Rainbow Rowell, read it, loved it. And Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell, read it and loved it. I'm just realizing now that I, I don't know where my attachments book is. I do own attachments, but I have no idea where it's gone to, but that sucks. Moving into my Morgan Matson books, I have The Unexpected Everything, Amy and Roger's Epic Detour. I only just liked this one, surprisingly enough. Since You've Been Gone, read it, loved it. This might be my favorite next to Second Chance Summer, which I freaking love so much, but it's very sad. Sad face. Broken Hearts and Fences and Other Things to Men by Katie Finn, who I believe is Morgan Matson, but just writing under a different name. All from the same companion trilogy, I have Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the Happily Ever After. Of these ones, I just like the first two, but I really love the third one. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Obviously, I love that book, because I have a heart. From Jenny Han, I have To All the Boys I've Loved Before, and P.S. I Still Love You. Obviously, love them both. Also from Jenny Han, I have The Summer I Turned Pretty trilogy with book one, The Summer I Turned Pretty, book two, It's Not Summer Without You, and book three, We'll Always Have Summer, love this trilogy. From Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian, I have Fire with Fire, and Ashes to Ashes, um, also read Burn for Burn, of course, and love, love, love this trilogy. I have both My True Love Gave to Me and Summer Days and Summer Nights, which are 12 anthologies, edited by Stephanie Perkins and a ton of different authors, blah, 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 blah. I've read My True Love Gave to Me, and I really liked it, and I have not read Summer Days and Summer Nights yet, so probably this summer I will do that. Last Forever by Deb Coletti, read it, loved it. Stay by Deb Coletti, What to Say Next by Julie Buxbaum, read it and loved it. Finally on the shelf, I have American Born Chinese by Jin Luin Yang, and I haven't read it, but it is a graphic novel. I have two shelves of a third bookshelf left um, that are my books, so I will just quickly go through these ones as well. All from Agatha Christie, I, and none of which I have read. The Secret Adversary, The ABC Murders, The Murder at the Vicarage, the Mysterious Affair at Styles, and then there were none. I also keep all of my Nicholas Sparks books on this shelf. I have A Walk to Remember, The Lucky One, read it, loved it. At First Sight, Dear John, I'm pretty sure I read this one and liked it. Message in a Bottle, The Wedding, The Notebook, read it, loved it. The Rescue, Guardian, The Best of Me, read it, definitely love this one. True Believer, Bend in the Road, Safe Haven, read it, and did really like this one. The Last Song, read it, loved it. Nights in Rodanthe, pretty sure my last Nicholas Sparks one is The Choice, and I have read this one and I love this one. Marley and Me by John Grogan. Haven't read it. Too afraid of the emotions. Suzanne's Diary for Nicholas by James Patterson. The Shining by Stephen King. Got about halfway through and then got so scared I had to stop reading it. The Light Between Oceans by M.L. Stedman. The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Society by Mary Ann Schaefer and Amy Barrow. Girl Interrupted by Susanna Kaysen. The Girl Who Chased the Moon by Sarah Addison Allen. The Good Luck Girls of Shipwreck Creek. Dark Places by Gillian Flynn. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. Charlie St. Cloud by Ben Sherwood, which is also known as The Life and Death of Charlie St. Cloud. 
I read this book and I loved this book. Something Borrowed by Emily Giffen, read it and it was just okay. Then Came You by Jennifer Weiner. And I have all of my Sophie Kinsella books. These are all out of order, just so you know. Also, I now pretty much exclusively listen to Sophie Kinsella books, so I'm not buying any more of the hard copies, but I've read a ton more than this, but I just always listen to them on audiobook. Shopaholic Takes Manhattan, Mini Shopaholic, Twenties Girl, The Undomestic Goddess, Shopaholic and Baby, Shopaholic Ties the Knot, Shopaholic and Sister, Can You Keep a Secret, and Remember Me. Okay, moving on to the very bottom shelf, which is just super random. I have all of my Harry Potter books on this side, so I'm not going to take them all out. You guys know. I've read them. I love them. I also have A Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey uh, Neifenegger. I have three Adventure Time graphic novels. I won't pull them out, but I've read them all. Love them all. Let's pretend this Never Happened by Jenny Lawson, Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson, read it and love this book. How to Be a Woman by Caitlin Moran, Sharp Objects by Jillian Flynn, Hag Seed by Margaret Atwood, read it and I just liked it. Then I have all of my Roald Dahl books, just very quickly. I have The Magic Finger, George's Marvelous Medicine, The Twits, The Witches, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, The BFG, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, The Witches Again, Charlie and the Great Elevator Again, James and Giant Peach. Then I have Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. But not least on the shelf, I have all of my cooking books. So also won't go through, go through all of those, but that's where I keep them. Oh my God, that took so long. <laughs> my battery's like flashing. Dead, dead, please, I'm dying. Those are the majority of the books that I own. I do have other books other places like that aren't on my shelf for whatever reason. But for the most part, those are all of my books. Yeah, let me know down below if there's any books on my shelf that I said I haven't read that you think that I definitely should read. I would love to know. But that's all I have for you guys today, so thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye! That was tiring. Mm -hmm. Very tiring. I didn't even go through all my Christmas books. See? I just have them sitting on the floor.